Good day everyone, this is Damares Photography and today on this session of retouching tutorial we're going to be teaching background cleanup yes background cleanup so i'm going to be cleaning up this background as you can see we have quite a lot of things we don't want in our image on this background so we're going to be cleaning them up before we move forward please if this is your first time on this channel please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to click on like on the subscribe button that's the only way you help me out you know that right so just click on the subscribe button before we move on okay so first things first before you the first thing we're going to do for this image is cropping this image and before you crop your image make sure your image is a smart object as you can see my image right here is a smart object make sure your image is a smart object this is so that while you're cropping you don't lose out in details you don't lose out in the details of the of the image you don't lose out the quality of the image you get so you first my image is a, is a smart object if yours is not a smart object just right click you see around here where to tell you to convert to smart object convert to smart object I don't think it does it's not showing right here because i'm already okay look at it around here convert to smart object but my image is already a smart object so i don't need to convert that so just i'm going to crop right now first so i want to straighten this image a bit i think it's not straight i think it's not straight so i just want to straighten it a bit yeah that's nice i want to center her i want to center her nice i want to take it down around here so I'm using a 16 by 20 crop size you get so I'm going to move her around here yes and I want to take this up a bit I want I want it a bit wider yeah I think around there is okay for me so that's okay then I click on okay now this is my image this is my image so next thing I'm going to just flatten this image or flatten it right click and click on flatten right nice nice so I have my image. As you can see now, you see I'm having quite a lot of things in this image that is not meant to be in the image. You get quite a lot of things in this image that needs to be cleaned up. So first things first, I'm just going to click on Ctrl J. I'll click on Ctrl J just to make a, a, a copy of that selection. And then I'll go to, I'll click on this uh, properties panel and click on select subject. The first thing I do is I allow Photoshop to make a selection of the subject this is usually fast and then also it just makes my work easier so i just need to fine tune the selections photoshop doesn't really make a detailed selection if you have um, a pay, if you have a photoshop that uses the content aware right now then even uh, what they call i don't know if it's that good but even if it's that good in selecting i don't think it would be able to select it detailed you get so after you've made a selection using select subject you just have to um, fine tune your selection with any selection um, tool you're familiar with. You get, we have the lasso tool, we have the quick max tool, you get, we have the quick max tool, we also have the edit in quick max, we also have the pen tool, we have the edit in quick max. But for me, I use the edit in quick max because it allows me to use my brush to fine tune my selections. My selections, yes, it allows me to use my brush to fine-tune my selections so i use the editing quick max tool and uh, then i use my brush to fine-tune it so let's just go so i've selected the editing quick max well, let's unselect it first and then just go through the image as you can see we have good selections with the air i think the selections for the air is okay i'm going to go through the clothes i'm just through the sides you get you can see now we don't have good selections around here so i have to fine-tune this one if you come around here, I also have to fine tune this a bit. So we'll have to go through the image and then just see. Okay, now usually we really don't usually have good, um, good uh, selections for the legs. So first of all, I'm going to go with a small part. Let me work on this place. I'll click on the edit in quick max tool and now click on my brush. As you can see, you use blacks when you paint with a black brush. Make sure your your flow is at hundred, your opacity at hundred. Then you look at around here, you look at around here, you see we have the white, we have the black, we have the white, we have the black. This is if you are using my edit in quick max mode. We have the white, we have the black. So I'm using the black br brush. It's easier to use the brush to make selections if you have a graphics tablet. If you have a graphics tablet, it's usually easier to make a selection. But if you have a mouse, I advise you to use other forms of, um, other forms of uh, making selections you get. So we just go like that. So I'm using the blacks to add to the selection 
if i want to remove from the selection i'll just click on white and then i'll remove from the selection ctrl z okay so i'll just go through the image that's how i'll go through the image so as you can see we've made our selection we've made our selection so what we're going to do now is just to click on ctrl j right now by clicking on ctrl j i've been able to separate the subject from the background i've been able to separate the subject from the background right now the next thing is i want to separate the background from the subject because right now to clean up background i'm just going to be working on just the background layer so to separate the background from the subject i'm going to hold ctrl and click on this um this top um this top layer the image the, the subject layer i'll click on that selection i made previously i'll go back to my lasso tool i'll right click and then click on inverse select inverse now i've made an, a, a, an inverse selection of my previous selection so i've select right now this is a selection of the background so i'll go to the layer beneath it and click on ctrl j again so by doing that if you see i off other layers and get that on you see right now we have a selection of just the background just the background just the background so this is cool and nice so first things first what i want to do like i told you i'm going to clean up the background but what i like doing these days while i clean up background is i like to work on the top that is the top part of the background first before i work on the lay um, on the um, down on the down part of the background the reason why i do that is so that selections are not taken from the down part of the background and added to the top part of the background usually don't look don't look nice if you do something like that so first things first i'll take my pick my rectangular mark you tool i'll make sure i'm on the addition um addition part of it right here i just click on the addition here and then i just make selections of those places i want to i want to add you get i want to um fill so i want to fill here i want to fill here i want to fill here yes i also want to fill this whole place like this no okay yes i want to feel that ctrl z okay that's nice i want to feel like that i want to feel that you see i'm not selecting the down part i'll do that later you get there are also some spots on the on the background itself i want to feel i'll use the lasso tool to add that i'll make sure i'm also on addition for the lasso tool for this place i want to add this i want to add this i want to add this want to add this so i'm just picking out some prominent spots on the background that i want to also clean out so i'll just right click and click on content aware field so i'm gonna click on content aware field i'll allow that to load and now i'll make sure like i said everywhere selected in green is what content aware we use to fill up your background but i don't want it to use the down part so i'm going to make sure my brush is on minus and then i'm going to delete the down parts so that content aware field will not use that to make selections for me so i'm just going to delete every grains on the down part of of the image you get so content aware field will just pick from the top part of the background to fill up other parts of that top of that background okay so we just click on okay just click on okay so as you can see what content aware did is quite rough but we don't need to bother about that we don't we don't need to bother about that we just have to um know that since after we blow it out everything would be everything will just be clean you get after we blow it out everything would be clean but for now we'll just leave that leave it at that and then i'll click on deselect and then i'm also now going to work on the beneath layer i'm going to work on the down layer that's the down of the background first of all before working on that i'll just click on on this um content aware layer if you can see this is the content aware layer i'm going to clip it to the background layer and then match those two layers together so right now you can see this is our background layer now we need to work on this part of the background so i'm also going to pick my rectangular marquee tool again and then i'm just going to select same thing i'm going to select here too so content away i'm um, also i'll take my my lasso tool and this time i'm going to hold my hold and then i'm going to remove some parts it's selecting too much yes it's selecting too much this is okay 
so i'm going to do the same thing right click and go to content aware fill So now that content aware field has opened, what I'm going to do right now is also the same thing I did previously. This time is for the top. I'm going to delete all the selections. I'm going to clean out all the selections from the top. This is so that content aware will just use the down layer to fill up that down part of the background. It's just going to use that to fill it up. So now you just click on OK, immediately is done. Right now you can see we just have to deselect that can see content aware has done quite a good job yes content aware has done quite a good job quite a good job so what i'm going to do right now is i'm just going to also do the same thing with clipping it to the to the background layer and then just match that i can name this subject just for you to know this is subject layer subject layer layer and then this is background layer background layer okay so now we have the background layer next thing what we're going to do is we're going to click on ctrl j for that background layer and then i'm going to go to my blur and i'm going to go to filter i'll go to blur i'll go to gaussian blur and then I, right now i'm one a radius of 120 we have to apply a, what they call gaussian blur to this image we are trying to blow out all this raw of this all this roughness on the image but still we don't want to completely blow out the um, the shadows on our image so we'll just take it gradually for me i think one around 120 is enough let's see 100 let's take it to just 120 let's just make it 120 I think 120 i usually use mostly 120 i found out that it's quite good 120 is quite good so just work on your image and see how it is as you can see we still have the texture the background and the shadows we still they have the shadows they are not as prominent as before but they are still there you get and then you just click on ok so right now we've blown out the we've done we, we've cleaned up our background right now we can just clip it to uh, what they call to the background layer and then match that now we can own up all our selections as you can see before after before after right now we have a clean background a really really clean background so last thing before you finish your background before you before we say this is the end to background clean up this is not lasting next thing is we need to add a sort of green green to the background you get the reason why we add green is because normally if you after you finish um after you finish editing if you export your images like this you see that you start having some bands some bands around your image you start having some bands around your image we call that banding you start having some bands around your your background and it's not usually looking nice if you post your image on instagram or your social media handle and then you're seeing some you are having bands you won't like that so what we do to do them to, to to make sure bands don't come out in your images is just click on ctrl j click on ctrl j and then you go to filter camera raw go to camera raw and then we're going to add some noise we're going to add some noise to that background when you find out i'm really add some noise to the background you've taken away any um any sort of occurrence that, or banding so we'll just add some texture by adding green to it you're adding texture so for me i go to filter i go to filter and you can see on the filter here you have your greens i just had a grain of about 30 I'll give it a grain of about 30 and then another thing i like doing is i like making it a bit rough i increase the size of my grains i increase the roughness a bit too okay so if you can see before after before after so i've added greens noise to my background sort of giving a bit of texture you get so right now you will not be having any sort of greens after you've exported your image so right now i just clip that to to my background layer and match that then i put everything into one layer and then i name that bg which is background inside the same layer this is also where i do my skin retouching i use a patch tool to do my skin retouching i mean i say my skin retouching my skin cleanup i will just pick the patch tool and move it round you see i just clean up i 
select where I want to clean up and then move it around do the same thing just move it around so if you enjoy this tutorial if you like this tutorial like I said please don't forget to subscribe please don't forget to share and I'll see you in the next tutorial have a wonderful day guys peace out